Hi, beloved, in the Lord, my name is A. Milady. This is Heavenly Rose Vision with Lady. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. This is too good. This is too wonderful. This is too great. But remember not to forget the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Who brought you out of Egypt in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, love, another session. Be thou glorified forever and ever. Hallelujah. Beloved, you are coming out from somewhere. You are coming from somewhere so toxic, so difficult. You are coming out of deception, out of backstabbing. You are coming out of a camp that was really like driving you nuts. You are coming out of, out of a, a, a community. You are coming out of a place that didn't serve you great. You are coming out of, out of, I don't know, some of you are coming out of ghetto, out of some type of situation that like really didn't work in your favor, beloved, and you were like dreaming and praying and hoping that God will remove you from it. Some of you are coming out of financial situations. But to be honest, you've been in a situation that, situation that didn't work out very well for you. It was like, you, you almost gave up, beloved. You almost gave up because you had people who were dishonest, you know, kind of thing, but God has decided to bless most of you in various ways, in various ways, and in like in different ways. In diff God, people are you people are like people are like being blessed in different ways right now. The Lord is saying that it is too good, but remember that as you have your blessings, as you get into your promised land. Do not forget him. Because sometimes when people are being delivered or they are being given things that they've been praying and asking God for, now they, they turn to like underestimate God, they turn to like forget God. The Lord is reminding you and warning you that please, as you get into your promised land, do not forsake, do not forget him. Do not forget him. I had what the Lord said, please do not forget me. Deuteronomy 6, verse 10 to 12. Then it shall come to uh, it shall come about when the Lord your God brings you into the land which He had swore to His father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give you great and splendid cities which you did not build. I was about to give you some things that you didn't work for. Hallelujah! Things that you were not expecting. I was about to bring these things into your life. I was about to bring abundance in your life. Grace in your life, strength in your life, healing in your life, whatever it is that is so precious to you right now, God's bringing these things into your life without you even like stressing about it. Now, listen. And the house is full of good things which you did not feel, and helm systems which you did not dig, vineyards and olive trees which you did not plant. And you eat and are satisfied, my God. Somebody is about to get into abundance. Somebody is about to get into, into something great, something powerful. You're about to achieve something that is going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of great greatness in your life. Someone's about to get into, into get into greatness, into something powerful, into something that what man, what eyes have not seen nor ears heard, and that has entered the heart of a man the things which the Lord has prepared for them that love Him. This is this is so 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 satisfying, beloved. It's your land of milk and honey. Then watch yourself that you do not forget the Lord who brought you from the land of Egypt out of the house of slavery. Out of the house of poverty, out of the house of depression, out of the house of challenges, out of the house of deaths, or whatever it was that you, that you got yourself entangled with. As God is delivering you, bringing you into the land of milk and honey, do not forget. Do not forget the Lord your God. Always keep his commandment, pray, and stay connected, connected to the Lord. Lest you fall into temptation. And whatever that you've acquired or he had blessed you with disappears, beloved. But I pray this moment that whatever it is that's coming to your life this season shall remain and shall remain permanently in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. Just say, please, as you receive these things, keep them and do not forget the Lord. Rejoice that indeed God has answered you. God has blessed you mightily. God has, you know, heard your prayers. Oh my God, your prayers do not go in vain. This is the time that the Lord has brought you, has about to bring you in this territory, in this great place. 
a place of peace, abundance, grace, light, victory, protection. And what have you? Make sure that you don't go astray. Make sure that you don't forget the Lord. Make sure, make sure that your enjoyment don't cause you to stumble. Make sure, make sure your enjoyment don't, doesn't come, doesn't uh, you know, turn out to be a setback or stumbling blocks, beloved. But you shall be sober. Hallelujah. You shall be sober. God bless you. And see you in the next, in the next video. Hallelujah.